side. Careful to not stand together for the coil. These two cores on Smashers right now. And they do spot out Tofu here on the side, so should be able to go burst them down. It's a nice quick pick off here for Toxin as they keep looking. They do manage the coil and it lands over onto two. They'll be able to burn down Gilgar. And you do have the Ricky here over on the side. Razus gets a nice call off. He needs a little bit more damage to finish them off though. They'll use the Orb Ultimate to try to keep Toxin alive, but No Tail will eventually fall. And the Smashers are just running after them here. Rasmus still trying to get his hands over here on Seb with Ace right behind them. The backstrats they go and they immediately just place them right underneath them. Now the follow up with the impale. The hop forward here coming out from Anna. Can they take down Ace? Yes, they can. As now Rasmus, he's hexed up. He was hoping he could find something else. Stormstorm is here though. So is Tofu. They've got the track off. They can spot Anna over here on the side. Do they try to make the play? They're going to try with the MP Tornado. Another hit down will go Anna. More teleports coming out. They're still wanting to skirmish running over to actually meet Stormstormer, it looks like. Mm, the pressure. They're smoke up. Yeah, they're going to try to make a pincering move. They're just going to mix Thompson over here. They're still making their way. They know Ana's down here. No tail. Tofu, they have the dust, though. They're going to try to make a play. Jump over onto Tofu. They'll be able to root him into place. Trying to get this follow up here. Nice call here coming up from Rasmus. He's able to just blow up Ana. And now Ace, he's hungry. He finds himself no tail. Tricks the trick and dropped. And they use the dream coil over on the back lines. Tofu goes down. Nice earth spike here from Soxa. We'll buy him just a little bit more time. And he's trying to juke around. Catch OG off guard. The Shadow Shaman being so big just from some little tracks and little fights. It's now top. Rasmus got blink up in three. Oh gosh, yeah, they'll open up Tornado EMP. No tail, they're hiding in the tree line. He's gonna try to protect him. Immediately, call comes out and they go and they get off the Oracle Ultimate. Got plenty of damage here. The size of Ricky jumping onto the back lines. They're trying to keep the Oracle alive. They do manage to follow up with a beautiful Dream Coil. The Aegis does expire. Seb joining in with everyone else here, but he has to be careful. The follow up, the finger comes out. Down goes Ace, and the pounce is out here from Ana as he's just forcing his way through here over onto Storm Surf, but they don't quite have that detection over on the side, though. You can see Rasmus doing whatever. He can. Does manage to get the kill over onto No Town. They're still chasing after Stormstorm. They haven't quite managed to get their hands on him, though. They have the vision. Eventually, the orb will collect. Soxa ticking down over here to the battle. Hunger eventually falls. Rasmus, though, he's trying. He's got that blade mail. He's giving the spins out. Seb making his way over here. The pounds forward again. Coming out. And Rasmus, he's just surviving for so long. Eventually, though, they finally managed to take him out. Oh, man. And we see the. There it is. There's that crit. <laughs> Another fight breaking out as they do manage to find the Oracle this time. They're going to take them out first. There's the Hex, the track, everything over here as they shackle this out right into place. The leap forward, though, coming out from Ana, and they have a nice dream coil as well, but he's taking so much damage as Gilgar does eventually fall. They have a Hex off over onto the back lines. This line swirling around in place, though, as Erasmus following up. Can they get the final hit off? Yes, they will. Here as they take down Thompson. A thousand gold from the enemy team. Dyer's top you gotta feel very sad attack. if you're the support who's buying gems and then losing them almost immediately. They're gonna try to make a play. Tofu is here, though. Tofu. They dropped the center, but they don't have the... Oh, good sidestep over here. Soxa just a little bit off the mark. Pounds coming out, though, from Ana. There's gonna be a finger. Are they gonna be... They're not quite able to get the kill. Oh, at the last second, the finger comes out, but... Oh, Tom, Anna falling to Ace. Gilgir looking for this opening. We'll find the kill on No Tail. And they're just holding Thompson down. He's not looking like he's gonna be able to escape. Does have the orb, though. Might be able to just blink out. Oh, the jump forward, though, again, coming up from Rasmus because he barely manages to save Gilgir over here on the side. Ace following up, jumping over onto the back lines. He's got his eyes over here onto No Tail. He just fought back. He can't afford to die back, and he does. He goes down on a trying that will be able to finally take down Ace. As now Ana, he's still hunting. He would love to grab himself. Rasmus does have that blade mail. Good tornado will buy him a bit more time, though. Another leash, though, coming out. The pounce eventually down will go the axe. Oh, man. Long duration fight for the Slarkins of 7 5. Dyer, it is very hard to play this game as a lion, but Seb, charging up. It's not going to find anyone. Tofu throwing out the track. Immediately, Stormstormer following up is going to get pounced over on the back lines, but the jump into the back lines as well coming out here from the side of Hellbears. Can they do anything here? Snap forward here. Are they going to end up losing Ace? They try to. They buy a little bit more time. They take down Soxa. They've got the Oracle. The Ace does eventually fall as Ana's just pouncing around, trying to get the jump over here onto Tofu. They're trying to just burst them down. Can they do it in time? No, it looks like that stable caution going to buy them a little bit more time here as eventually Tofu falling. They just can't get their hands over on that Oracle. Now Gilgir holding on for dear life. He's hoping perhaps can they get this kill? Yes, they will. They'll be able to take down Thompson. Rasmus with a good call. They need to get some more damage, but look at the stacks over here. Offer on Ana. He's sitting at the Buy back coming out now from Gilgir. This OG takes over the backs. triangle. Gilgir sitting on the low ground. Anna. 
on the hunt. I hear a Dream Coil over on two on the back lines. They find Rasmus, they find Stormstorm at the jump four, though. They're trying to get rid of No Tail as fast as possible, and he's going to actually use his ulti on himself here. So he'll turn back around. Anna has got his eyes over here on Ace. He's trying to just take him out, and he's not going to be able to quite do it because Rasmus is able to drag Anna back. He's got the tricks of the trade going in again. We'll survive. They drop the swords over on the side. This is not looking great for Gilgir, though, because Ana has his eyes over on the prize. Still not able to take down Sox and not able to take down No Tail. As Ana hunting on the back lines, Rasmus running for his life. Tofu to be able to notice here. It's not going to quite land that. Ana just farming up. Still down. Rasmus can't go for eight seconds. He knows this, too. They do get, they do get a nice wrap around Tofu, but now he's spotted. Yeah, he gets forced down, low ground, pounce comes out, Hex and everything here should be able to just eliminate this bounty hunter. Throw Sean comes out of his pit, he wants to know what all the noise is about here, Fog. Oh, the noise is that Tofu's dead for a very long time, but now they have a indeed. five fight. And they don't have Serpent Wards, they're throwing spells to scout. Looking very, very difficult. The pop out of the pit here, coming out from Ana. Hoping to get the jump, tops it over the back lines, but did he go just perhaps a little bit too far because they do have that call. They use the dream call, they're perfectly happy to stand there as they take down Thompson. They're gonna go right back in, the roof gets taken by the Radiant. They have to pick it up quickly. Okay, it's gonna be Ana who picks it up. Immediately followed up here, Gilgear trying to hold him into play. Storm Spear, Stormer running out. They'll end up losing Gilgear. The pounces are out though. Can they get Storm Stormer in time? Rasmus has already BKB TP'd out. He's hunting. They have the gem. He wants this so badly. Just doesn't quite have the pounce. He's a little bit too far off the mark. But Storm Stormer, he's still, he's got his dancing shoes on. He's going to try to just hide. He's going so deep into the base. Eventually though, Ana hunts down his prey. Rasmus though is here. Does have the call. We'll try to drag him back. I'm not sure about this, friend. You might just end up dying here to Anna as he's leashed. The blade mail does a bit. The tower also. I don't know how they make this fish leave their base. Radiant's bottom down. Slow him down. <laughs> At least a little bit, but yeah, they, they can't stop him. He's even just bouncing away from this EMPs constantly. I get the hex off. Well, it was going a little bit far here, though. They do have to be careful. They've got the call here coming out, and the finger not quite enough to finish off Gilgir here. Although, Ana, he wants it. He goes right in. Can they lock him down for long enough? No, they can't. Again, that fountain diving coming out from the side of O. He's right over here on the back lines. I hear a call going out. Cataclysm comes through. Soxa goes down. They finally get their hands on No Tail. They'll finally get that kill. But now they have to force out the rest of them. And it's just looking so difficult. The bounty hunter now going to buy back. Rasmus getting another call. Drawing back here over onto Ana over on the back line. So they do manage to go. And they'll be able to take down Ace. They don't have all that damage that they desperately need. Another pounce here from Ana is just chasing after them. Still has the vision over here on Storm Stormer. He'll back off and he'll just start hitting those buildings. I'm not sure what they hope to do to him, just period here. Look at this. Just walks on in. All right, they'll try opening with the call again, and they follow up with a very nice stream call. Again, this is an axe. So they have their own agonums, and they'll turn around. They'll hold down the Slark for a little bit, but Seb jumping in. And look, this on is just going right for those back lines. Wants to get rid of Gilgear. Does have to be a little bit careful, though. He's dope He's pretty far him. here. Again, has the pounce. Cataclysm coming out. Did Seb go a little bit too far? Yes, he did. Down he goes, though. Immediately buying back. As Ana looking for his next victim does get hexed up. But No Tail is standing right behind. Sleep Dart though over onto that line. They might be able to make something happen here. So just keep dodging in and out. But again, No Tail with that save. They just can't seem to kill Ana here. They disarm going right back. They have the shackle. They're just slowing him down. We keep seeing all these darts flying out. They're trying. They're just trying really, really hard, but they're not managing to find this opening as Ace gets controlled yet again, and Ana just going right into the back lines, kills Gilgear. <laughs> the rest of them. There's, there's too many little buffs being thrown at him, too many dispels being thrown at him, just keeping him full HP, keeping him just having 30 stacks or more. Now they're just starting to hit buildings. Rasmus? Trying to go after Topson here, but still not able to do it. The control comes out over here onto Rasmus. Three-man Dream Quail. Push forward, trying to get them back into the fountain or trying to snap it. I'm not sure, but look at Ana. He's just chasing down Storm Stormer. Starts going over into the fountain again. He will back off. Saxon needs to be careful. He's getting clicked pretty hard here. As Rasmus finds the dunk, but it's a nice effect going right back in again. Ana jumping for it. Gets the kill on Tofu. Hellbear Smashers, they're trying to defend. They're trying to just throw their bodies at them. Ana having to be a bit careful. Seb throwing out that unstable concoction. Nana's just going in deep here. Has his eyes over here onto Rasmus. Can he get this kill? Yes, he wants a triple kill now. Tornado Ice, well, he's just chasing after Storm Stormer. He can't stay alive. Somehow, during all of this, he's still alive. The GG gets called. They realize they just cannot. They cannot do anything to this Slark.
despite their I think best tries. Ace's uh, Ricky line was pretty pretty appropriate right there. Why prolong the inevitable? As that game was definitely.